Today we're gonna be teaching you how to mix uh, vinyl ester resin. So start out by grabbing your resin. Uh, today we're using a quarter pint. And then the next thing you're gonna need is your your, your hardener. So we're, today we're using Bondo liquid hardener. Um, typically it'll say for use with fiberglass resin. Um, the important part though is that it, it contains methyl, ethyl, ketone, peroxide. So that's, that's the MEKP that we're talking about. Um, and this one I, I found at O'Reilly's, uh, the auto parts store. So now that we got our resin and our hardener, we're gonna need something to mix it in. Um, today I'm using a barium dispenser cup, which is nice because it's, it's graduated um, in ounces. Um, so that's helpful, but you can use any cup really to do it. And you need a stir stick to stir it with. Um, anything will do really. So for, for larger amounts of resin, um, a, a syringe like this can help, um, especially you need one that's graduated in uh, cc's or uh, milliliters, um, but that can help on the larger amounts of resin. So if, if you see here, a quarter pint takes 64 drops, uh, you, have, you know, 2.5 um, cc's, but the bigger kits, I mean, you're not gonna sit there and do 500 drops or 20 cc's. Um, it's much easier to use a teaspoon measurement uh, for the larger stuff there. First things first, you need safety glasses um, or goggles. You do not want MEKP or resin in your eyes. Um, you also do not want to be breathing in the fumes. So make sure you have a respirator. Uh, make sure that respirator has a NIOSH approved cartridge on there. And make sure you do this in, in a well ventilated area. Now, since you're gonna be handling resin and um, you know hardener, you're, you're gonna want latex gloves. Um, sometimes it can even help to wear a few pairs just so you can strip them off as needed wear old clothes, and an apron can help as well. All right, so you got your resin. Um, you've now put it into your mixing cup. So we got four ounces here, a quarter pint. Now grab your, your hardener, and today I'm not actually going to be using the Bondo hardener um, just because the stuff we have in the shop here, it's actually dyed. Um, so it'll be a little better for, for illustrative purposes here, uh, if you can see the color. But it's the same thing, the same active ingredient. So. so start by, you know, doing the drops. Today we're going to do 64 drops here um, for four ounces of resin. And that's at 2% or 50 to 1. Um, you can see it in there, the color. So now mix it. Make sure you mix it well. Don't mix so forcefully that you create a ton of bubbles but you really do want to make sure you mix this, you know, evenly and completely. So the vinyl ester resin we're working with here, it's about a 20 minute gel time. So here's, here you can see it's five minutes after, um, just barely starting to thicken up, still, still pretty good. Here's 15 minutes after, starting to thicken up a bit, but still, you know, still usable, um, but we're getting closer. You can see it kind of hangs on the edge there. Oh, here we go. So 25 minutes after, um, that's that's done. You know, that's you don't want to use that anymore. Um, that's definitely gelled up. But here you can see how quick that happens. So you ordered your kit a while ago, and you're, you've are you been sitting around, and you're not sure if you should use it. Well, if it looks like this, um, you should not. Um, this is what happens, you know, once, once vinyl ester resin has, has expired, essentially, or once it's past its shelf life. Here's another one. Uh, this one is actually polymerized. That's that, that white, you know, hard surface you see there. Um, but this one's the same thing, not no good, don't use it. So all unused resin or expired resin needs to still be activated with MEKP uh, before you can throw it away. So make sure you add the MEKP, um, let it cure in a safe place, um, preferably outside. And then once it's com cured completely, um, it can be disposed of in the trash. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to call or email us. Um, otherwise, have a great time out on the water.